Hello, I'm Captain Charles Gunzel with the Office of Naval Research. Our emphasis on modularity brings some new design challenges. Open architecture is the first one that we talk about and we have a reason to be concerned about. We need to be able to uh, bring the various modules on many different platforms sharing the capabilities that uh, they contain and so our, our mechanical and electrical systems need to be interoperable or interconnectable and uh, uh, things such as how we do the lifting and handling of the modules on board the vessels is very important so that uh, it, uh, it is an, a new learning routine each time we bring a new module. And then issues with, with uh, space, you know, uh, space and weight. So with the volume, where we store them, and how we, uh, or where we actually carry them and use them, those are all uh, considerations amongst many, but the top ones that come to mind as we start talking about uh, new modular weapon systems. Priorities for us now in, in design, uh, the, the OPV and other vessels, uh, from my perspective, involve uh, maintaining flexibility and uh, uh, putting money in research and development so that we can stay ahead of the threat and adjust uh, the weapon systems that are carried at sea accordingly. And that ties back into our first question and, and further drives the need for modular systems and interoperability and open architecture. would just answer easily, say, test early, test often, and, uh, and, and be accurate. And uh, so I think really, uh, if you can test uh, the systems, obviously after they're, they're built, uh, as they're installed at appropriate points before they get completely encapsulated and it, it's difficult to continue, and then test the completed uh, integrated systems uh, when, you're, when you're done in builder trials and things of that nature. So I would test early and often. Okay, the advice that I would give OPV managers and designers would really center around uh, uh, the good old concept of flexibility we talked about earlier uh, and operating costs, life cycle costs, so your acquisition, operating costs, and uh, flexibility. And so a designer needs to keep an eye on those things so that we can uh, modularize the systems, share the systems, uh, considering the OPV really as a center of a, of a big net. Uh, uh, so the net-centric warfare concept. And the OPV doesn't have to be the fastest vessel out there, but it certainly should be uh, a very well-connected vessel uh, using its organic uh, uh, resources such as a helicopter, AUV, the rib, to reach out and do the mission with adequate sensors that can be upgraded and uh, are modernized in a real modular fashion. So uh, keep it flexible and keep it affordable across the entire life cycle cost.